made this for my buddy Ivan, who has, I don't know, a dozen of my builds so far. Um, this is his son's hospital, and he wanted to do uh, to donate to it for them to do like, uh, what, like a charity raffle or something along those lines. Um, so let's show you the watch. So um, <clears throat> we took their logo, and their logo. We could not find in, in any, any form of black or white. So uh, I had to find a, a font that looked like their H. And uh, their logo, which <clears throat> we could do on uh, lasering, looks like that. So I found that H font, um, and then we mimicked it and tried to recreate that uh, on the dial. So, man, steamy. Um, <clears throat> now their logo is in the yellow and in the orange, but their logo only runs almost all the way around. So we just ran it all the way around. Um, did a silver handset on it. Obviously we brushed the dial. So we had to hand paint the dial. Um, brushed the dial, silver handset, and then we did a yellow seconds hand there. And then so that the dial would pop even more, uh, we put a smooth bezel on there and have it in a brushed case. So we've got a brushed bezel, brushed case. Um, did their logo on the crown. And then obviously the, the logo and referencing on the back, uh, case back. So, um, also a brushed stainless steel engineered band. Um, the Open Heroes logo there on the upper clasp. And that's the build. That's the build as a whole. Um, <clears throat> also, yeah, I was like, I was feeling something. Um, uh, quick disconnect links if you ever need them. Uh, you just push down, everything pops right off. You put it back into the hole there. Pin it down, just kind of like a toilet paper roll. Which obviously it's a lot harder to do looking through a window here than it is uh, doing it in real life. So uh, that's the build. Uh, as I always reference, the bezel on these will turn left and right. Um, you can pop them off too if you if you get wedged under it decently. Um, but these are non-clickable bezels. They're held on with a tension ring, so you can turn it left, you can turn it right. Uh, there is no clicking. And then this is an automatic mechanical. You might not be able to tell because it has a solid case back on there. But it's got a rotor in there that will spin uh, with your movement to keep the time. But if you're not going to be very active, uh, like you're driving or at a desk, you'll want to pre-wind it just a little bit um, just to make sure it doesn't die on you. So you'll back the crown off the threads until you hear it clicking. And at that point, you can wind. And why does it turn away from you? Turning it back will do nothing, but it's a lot easier to keep your fingers spacing and just go back and forth. So if you do this for four or five seconds before you put it on, uh, even with you not being very active, you'll keep time throughout the day, uh, mixed with that rotor. And if you do it for something closer to 20 seconds, you're going to max out that 31 plus hour power reserve. You cannot overwind it. And this is also what I do to make sure um, it's running the next day because I built this yesterday, I don't know, five, six o'clock, and it's still keeping time. So if you pull it to the one and only click, you can now set your time. You'll feel you've got a wobble crown that will deflect lateral pressure from going into that stem and into the movement. So it will just roll with it if you're pushing on it or pulling on it. So I just kind of pull back just a little bit, just to kind of go with that. Okay, Google, what time is it? 8.43 a.m. We just push it right back over and thread it down. And there it is. That is the build as a whole. As always, I always do matching beads to go with it. So we've got uh, a little bit of a lighter yellow with some uh, silver and some orange in there. And then this is just in one of my special edition boxes. So just one of my special edition silver boxes. As with every build, it will come with watch clearance. It's good on all glass and metal parts. So this watch as a whole, non-streaking, non-toxic, non-residue. 
and then some fine scratch remover. This is Novus 2 from Amazon. Uh, just repackaged. It's basically like Poly Watch. This is an acrylic glass, and you can scratch it if you do. No big deal. Put a tiny bit of this on there. Buff against that scratch, filling that scratch, and uh, generate some heat with your thumb. We'll knock it out even quicker. I've included an ultra fine microfiber in here as well. Um, just go back and forth across that uh, and solidify that scratch. And uh, no more scratchers, enough in there to last you your whole watch. So you need just the bare minimum on there, just a tiny drop. So thank you so much, Ivan, for thinking of me. And uh, I hope they love the watch. And I hope it. Uh, I just hope it's a, a good success for uh, for the hospital. So I appreciate you reaching out to me and thinking of me. And um, if you want me to build you something custom and unique, reach out and I'll see what I can do. And uh, if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.